Hello guys and welcome back to GPS and today's episode will be making a watermark for our channel or my channel or your channel or whatever channel you would like to make a watermark for now if you guys don't know what a watermark is it will be in the bottom right hand corner of this video so first of all you'll need Cinema 4D R13 or R12 I'm using um, Cinema 4D Studio R12 at the minute so once you've opened it up this is the first page you'll get and then you go up to the top and click hit MoGraph and then go down to Mo Text, which you all should have. And then in this text box here, okay guys, you can put whatever you want in there, your watermark to say, I'm just going to put GPS, okay? We're going to change the depth to about 60, and as you can see, it's going to be a bit like cooler. We're just going to centre it up like this, and just like, just centre it a little bit. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, like mine's not perfect, but... Then you can choose your font out of all. I've got about 400 fonts on my computer, well, not that many, but I've got an awful lot of fonts on my computer, so I'm just gonna just get my font which I would like to use. Um, there it is, and I just want it bold. So, yeah. So, let's just render that and I'll just show you what it looks like. So, yeah, that is my font as you can see, like now. Look, kind of the same. Well, it is the same, but anyway. So now once we've done that, we're just going to zoom in a little bit and now we're just going to centre it a lot. Just make it all that straight and what have you. So now we're going to go on caps and fill it, cap it. Oh, and as you can see, it like buffs it out. But if I didn't put that one on it, look at that, that is weird. Look absolutely dodgy, on it? But if I cap it, it just looks just not normal. So anyway, we're going to fill, we're going to fill it, cap them both and put two steps on it guys so what's this what this means is you can see like in the middle there gonna, like in the middle watch that line go to bring it down it'll go so it's like the more caps you add like the more smooth more like rounded it'll be so I'm just gonna add two caps like there's one cap looks like a chisel but if we keep going up and up and up it'll make it more and more like rounded so anyway we're gonna add about four caps okay guys yeah that's fine that four caps and then we're gonna go file um, load materials well you can make material but I'll leave the description to this material pack in the in the description below and as you can this material pack has got about this has got loads it takes about 20 minutes to load up because it has got hundreds of different materials in it guys look just loads of different ones so once all that has done Right, we're gonna just name this GPS, okay? Just so it's all coolio. And then we're gonna put on the back one, we're gonna put four steps on it as well. So if you just slide around, as you can see, that orange point there is a pivot. Not that, the green point's a pivot. So that could be a watermark, that could be a watermark, that could be a watermark, and that could be a watermark, that could be a watermark. Just whichever way you choose to render it this could be a watermark that could be a watermark but I'm just gonna have a watermark rendered like this so whichever way your watermark wants to be so say if you want it like that you'd render it like this and have it which looks does look pretty cool and as you can see it does look a lot more rounded on the edges and some other good stuff so I'm just gonna move this a bit up now why am I on frame 67 no I don't want to be down there that's just and this keyframe here guys that is make if you want to make like an introduction or an intro as some people call it but yeah so now these colors just for an example just to show you guys what to do so if we drop this in here this um i don't even know the name of it that bluish color it'll render out in that type of color of a blue inline which looks disgusting but if you got no let's just take that out so i don't i don't like it we can just delete it um let's try and get a solid color so we've got a, a red here It'll change it red, and we want a blue. Okay, and if you re if you render it like that, it'll just appear like so. But if you change the blue and put R one here, it will change it. So we're on the blue, and it'll change it to the the um. Do you know the steps what we made? It'll change it to the steps like the inside shape, if you know what I mean. And if you change it to C two, it'll change it to um. No, sorry, is it C1? I think it's C1. Let's just take R1 out because that might contradict it. Let's just put this over here. And, yeah, so if you want to 
So that, as you can see, that red one, that's, uh, the red one is C1 now, and it's gone a bit different like that. If you know, if you guys know what I mean, but yeah, the letter always has to be on the outside because as you see, otherwise it won't work. So the letter, the one you put in the letters in in section, has to be the last colour. Okay, guys. I think it will work in here, but I'm not. I'm a bit puzzled in the edit at the minute. Why is it? Why? Why is it not working? So we don't want them colours anyway. So as you can see, it's got loads of different colours in, guys. Loads of different effects, and that will always comes up. Don't know why. Ah, oh, what's happened? Don't know. If, don't know if that happened on your screen, guys. But it just went off and on. So I'll be back when all these has loaded up, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So welcome. back Black. Okay, in one minute I gotta shut my door. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna take you through all my um, materials now what I have downloaded, and there is hundreds of them, loads of different shapes, different colours, different styles, different textures, and all this sort. Loads of different pictures, which mean different things, which I do not know. And as you can see, they're still not all loaded up. So yeah, them are all the things. So I have gone for this type of look for a watermark, just because I don't know what these grey bits are here, guys. I don't know how you get rid of them, but if you have it like head on like this, you'll see it brings like a kind of light to a shine. But I don't like that, and because it's a preloaded texture, I can't get rid of it unfortunately. So I'm just gonna bring it down under the floor like this, bring it up like that, see so if we can zoom in a little bit more and you see these like faint boxes here guys where it says perspective, like these boxes will stop here if you go like that it will cut off anything past this line so you've got to make sure it's in the line and I also forgot to mention these capitals R and C have to be capitals guys, it can't be little K so as you can see I'm going for that type of look so yeah and I'm just going to bring it like this and I'm going to make another mo graph mo text and where's my text gone object and I'm just going to take general and I'm just going to make this 60 and I'm going to make the font exactly the same which is D I'm going to scroll down to um, this make it bold and I'm going to zoom out because as you can see it is massive and then if you double click on um, this I'm going not wait let's just get it straight again so now we've got that and um, we can just get general which is selected like that and then uh, so now we've got that we get it like I'm just trying to think um, we don't need it rotating because that's for like wobble so yeah we don't need that happening so we can get rid of rotation oh hang on is that on an angle see if you guys don't want to be going like this all the time this top right button it will tell you so as you can see it is a little bit of an angle as you can see by this perspective up here so if you just plonk it on there straight like so is that in line? Yeah, it's all in line now. And then we just click this one. So now I'll be back with you when I found out how to resize the thing because I've I've not used this in a while, guys, and I've kind of forgot about everything. So back in a sec. Okay, guys. So about five minutes after looking, I finally found it. Just clicking through different things, and I finally it's this height button. But I swear it was like a shortcut. You could grab a corner and just shorten it, but yeah that was what that was so if you just scale this down like that so if you just right now 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 we're going to go get our perspective back which was like i'm going to bring it up a little bit more i'm going to zoom in i'm going to look under i'm going to zoom up i'm going to look up a little bit go down like so let's just render that out see was that the picture we wanted let's just 
go like this a minute. And as you can see, we've got general up there. Yeah, we can go for that. So now we get this mode section, just name this general. So now we can grab this and scroll down with this green one. Get it like this. Okay, now if I go like this under it, that should. Right, let's just grab this. So as you can see, it's like goes going through them, guys, if you know what I mean. So if we want to bring it forward, we can get this blue one and like push it forward like that, so it like come out of the text. If you guys know what I mean, so we're just gonna scale it down even more. Press the red one to bring it across. And I'll show you what I'm doing shortly. Just like a little idea, I've just kind of thought of in my little head. Just go like this. Let's just render that out. Will it fit? Let's just bring it across a little bit more, maybe like that. Can you see it at the angle? Maybe at our angle? Maybe you can't, maybe you can. So that's going to be our angle or something like that. So now we're just going to put some colour in it, which will be. Let's get a different colour. Let's get. So as you can see, they've all loaded up now. Let's get. A blue, what's this blue? And let's get a an orange. So if we get this and just go C capital C C one It's not the best guys but as you can see it's like general Right, yeah bitch. So now we've got I mean it's not the best watermark in the world guys but you know it's something so now we've got that we're gonna go make another mode text and name this picture picture oh shit um, 60 degrees again like so font is gonna be D um, bold so now that's there we're gonna scale this down a whole bunch like that we're going to get the rotator tool and rotate it upwards. We're going to get the move tool and then drag the green one like this. Get the blue one and bring it out. Oh shit. Like that. Let's just get the perspective tool, see what's going about it. Oh shit, I want this one. Then just drag it to the side. Let's grab this blue one, bring it out a little bit more like so. Get the name this picture just so we know picture now I've got that we can just scale it up a little bit maybe will that still fit in yeah that's still fitting so now we've can go like this scale it up a little bit more right that'll do let's just render that just see if it fits nicely Right, I've got an idea with that general actually. We can rotate this like so. Grab the move, gonna bring it down, grab the red and scale it up just because it looks a bit too small down there. So if we scale this up, bring it down. So yeah, now let's just grab this, make it a little bit straighter. Grab the move, grab the move, grab it like that. Grab the rotation because it's not exactly straight. Like that. And let's just render it out. See what it looks like. As you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit on the dodgy side. So we're gonna. No, not the GPS in general. We're gonna get the red one. Drag it up. I think general is just a general big word. If you know what I mean. Just gonna drag it like that. Get the rotation. Make it a bit more straighter. Like so. Like that and render no it still could have been rotating a little bit more like that maybe render rotate it a little bit more like that render 
yeah okay that, that, that could do nicely so now we've got that we can change the colour on that because I don't like that orange let's make it a green let's get that it's the same green C1 No, that should be green. No, I don't actually like that. I'm just going to get a pure black and C1 so it can stand out. Oh, it needs to be darker. Hang on, if I go like this, will it be? So as you can see, the blue's coming in there, guys, at the bottom of it. C1's just like the front panel. Yeah, so let's get the picture, grab this blue up there. Oh, bollocks. Um, anything like copy layer styles or something? Um, I'm gonna have to look at C. Oh no, V. Yeah. <laughs> Hate it. Hate this. Right, let's delete that. Oh god, it looks like I just gotta find it. Right, so it's a basic. Right, it'd be down here somewhere. Uh, there it is. So that one can go on picture. And then that black is just a pure black from up here, which was that one. Like so, if you just get texture on that. God's sake. Why has it all gone funny? Oh, selection C1. Then that should be like that. Render that out. That's looking a bit, not the best, but it's looking a bit coolio. Looking a bit dark, so if you just grab this, grab a light. Get this wacky up here. Bring it back. That should be looking cool. Where's the light? I've lost the light. Is this the light? No, that's not the light. Is it the light? No, that's the picture box. The light. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Bring it down. Try and get an underneath view sort of it. Make it look a bit more coolio. 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 You can't really see that, so if you just get the light again, bring it up. Bring it this way. Just wanted to highlight that picture and that general, okay? So just get that light again, bring it up, drag it to about there, bring it down there. That one, bring it up a little bit, bring it down. That should be about right. Now nah, let's scrap the light, pissing me off. Right, mo text, mo text that shows. Shoot. Um, 60 um, font DD and um, scale this down Just grab it grab back up ok let's get the rotation rotate the fucker like that and um, grab the blue one bring it forward like this the red, bring it down, grab the rotation, bring it up like so, grab the move, bring it down, and um, let's just bring it, let's just rename it again, shows, I wasn't planning on doing this cheap, that's just general picture shows, that's just like a lot, sort of last minute thought, so if it doesn't look the best, hey ho, me and I am just, I'm still learning, Actually, let, I've got an idea. Doing, 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 doing. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, let's just edit this show. Let's just make it a bit more. F 
fluent or flush or whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's looking that's looking cool. Let's just try and get our perspective right, like so. Is that right? Could that be a good perspective? Yeah, that could be. So now you've done that, you click this button up here. You want a full render, okay? You want to go on output, and if you want to make it HD, it's 1080. As you can see, like zooms in, and then click 720, it will zoom back out. Okay, make sure it's on pixels. Then you go all the way down to current frame. Okay, guys, if it's on, um, if you're making a watermark, if it's an intro, you want to go all frames and make your intro. So now that's done, you go, you want to go and save file and just save it to your desktop as a water mark save you want to save it as a jpeg and you want to make sure you got alpha channel selected okay guys make sure you got alpha channel selected okay don't need any of this good stuff that doesn't matter you can have some effects in it if you want like global illumination or glow or whatever the fuck you want so now you've done that make sure your pers perspectives all right in Culeo and click that middle one and it will render it out okay guys and it'll show it'll tell you if it's not rendered well it won't tell you but you'll see because it'll like cut half of it out so I'm just gonna just show you quickly oh. crepio um, didn't mean to do that um, get a notepad it will like do it it'll cut it off like that if you know what I mean guys do you know what I mean it'll just go like that bump do you know what I mean? It'll like cut it off and you'll see it like not working, it'll cut it off up there as well. But if it's you're full there, but if it's like that, you know you've not done it right and you just gotta zoom in or zoom out. So anyway guys, now that's done, as you can see because it's all like sort of not doing anything anymore. So once you've done that, you just go like this and then go like that. And I know why it's done that. So you just want to double check it. Let's get on here. Let's just take off alpha channel, or let's put in. Sh I'm not too sure. I think alpha channel is the right one to do. Okay, I'm not exactly too sure. Yeah, you want to overwrite it because you want that to be gone. So as you can see, it's still doing it, and then when it's done, it'll change. So once you've done that, you just click off it, and as you can see, it's come back. Oh, was that there a minute ago? I think that's just there's. A, I think that's the alpha channel actually, guys. I'm not too sure, but it won't have a background on it. I'm, yes, it will. I'm not too sure, actually. Let's just delete them. Okay, just to, because I'm a bit puzzled at the minute. Um, let's just select Alpha Channel and see what it does. I mean, I don't see stuff really. Oh, wrong render button. Hurry up. Only fucking Bridger. Yeah, so as you can see, it does. It gives you this bit for some reason, and it also gives you that bit. So, anyway, guys. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Peace out, man.